Uh, it's getting close because there's my leader. Alright, watch right, watch right. right. Oh, that's a big fish. That's a big fish. Nice. Alright. I'll be pulling back out. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We are back on the water again. Uh, you saw us out last week with the great Josh fishing for some tog, and Yora had his uh, great looking uh, fish on the end of the line, breaking his PB. We do have a new soul on board. We've got Bruce from Middletown. He is one of uh, Josh's volunteers that comes out with him uh, on the work that he does uh, during the work week. We are going to come out here and we're gonna come out and get the fish that we caught almost a year ago. So it's almost our fish anniversary. <laughs> but we're going out for the black drum today. Uh, it is quite windy right now. I'm hoping when the sun goes up, that kind of cuts down a, a little bit there. But I think the second time around, we kind of figured things out from the first time what we need to do in order to get fish on the end of the line if we can't get that drum bite going on. So stick with us for a couple minutes. We're gonna get out to where we need to be, drop lines, and hopefully we can get one of those big drum and drums on the end of the line. We're heading our way back into the marina. It is less than ideal conditions out here. I mean, we got some pretty big waves that are out here, uh, ranging anywhere from two to maybe even six foot at their crest and uh, we got a lot of wind going on so I think we have that front that's still coming through but once we get into the marina we'll figure out a new game plan and uh, we'll maybe have to just do the drum at another time but give us a couple seconds to try to figure out what's happening and then uh, we'll try to get something biting on the end of the line hopefully. Alright we're almost into the relative safety of uh, the brake walls over here on the right hand side and left getting ready to go into the marina and uh, much more calmer waters than what we were just in a couple seconds ago. So let's go ahead and uh, get in here and uh, see what we're going to try to catch today. So Josh is thinking maybe possible striper bite. Uh, you can see where the markers are at right here, but to the left hand side on this uh, break here, you'll see some dolphin right here surfacing and he thinks all the bait fish are coming across uh, the opening of this uh, channel here. We got some more sitting here along this uh, current. So the bait fish might be bringing in uh, the striper along with possible bunker that's probably floating around there somewhere. But there's another one right in front of you. See that? All spray right there. Look at that. He's got a fish on him too. The shad. How cool is that? Along with our biologists, we do have a resident murder right here. So over here right along these pilings right here are multiple species of birds he's going to rattle off a few of them they're sitting there yeah, so. the birds come in to feast on the uh, horseshoe crab eggs that are being laid and they're waiting for low tide so they can run along the shoreline ruddy turnstones red knots greater yellow legs lesser yellow legs you've got plovers black belly plovers dunlin look at them guys they're tailing right out here check them out they're slapping the bait with their tails watch Hopefully we can see that again. See them all out there? The whole pot out there. But we got our ospreys riding the wind right here. But there you go. Check them out, guys. That's the closest I've been to a uh, dolphin here. All right, so this is kind of fitting that this happened right here. Uh, we haven't caught anything here in this uh, inlet area that we're uh, fishing in. And we're gonna go ahead and make our way back out to the uh, drum grounds. Hopefully we can get some lines down there. But I'm gonna have Josh describe the mess that we just put up here. Not the seaweed, but the curlicue stuff that's sitting right here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring my rod over here and give a little bit of line and have him describe what that exactly is. You oftentimes see these on the beach and uh, this is actually the egg case for the lightning whelk. Uh, locally they call them conch, but uh, the proper name is whelk. And if you find these on the beach, a lot of times you can open up these little packets and there's a teeny tiny little conch shell inside. And uh, I don't think these ones have hatched yet. Otherwise they'd be dried up on a beach somewhere. So we're gonna throw them back and hopefully these produce a bunch of baby whelks. Boom. It's always good to have a biologist on board, guys. 
Good job. Great job, Josh. Nice wind chime. There you go. <laughs> All right, we're going to pull everything up, man. We're going to pull the anchor up and uh, try to make a second attempt out here. It looks like the winds calmed down just a little bit. Hopefully, the swells are not as bad as when we were out there, but uh, we'll figure it out. Maybe one to two, possibly threes, but we had almost well over. I mean, they were lapping right over the boat. It was just that bad, guys. But uh, two hours of time, and the sun went up, and it kind of calmed that wind down a little bit. So hopefully, we can get some luck and uh, get Bruce onto some fish too as well, because that is the ultimate goal. Doesn't matter how many we catch, guys, as long as we get one tug or more, that's what it's all about. We're gonna head ourselves down south just a little more. We've got no fish on the end of the line, a couple of nibbles here and there. We've had a multitude of baits sitting out in the water, but uh, these fish are just not biting as of yet. But uh, we're not losing hope. Something's gonna happen, I'm sure. Shouldn't be, we got more line out now than we've had before. It's a little more weedy over here now. I guess maybe the tide's pushing it through. Like fish that. on, fish on. Yeah. There we go. A fish. Or bottom. That's bottom. No, that's a fish. Right back here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's moving. That's a fish. Oh, stupid skate. <laughs> and he's tugging. It's a giant flounder. I think it's a skate. Hold on, bud. There we go. Oh. There you go, guys. All right. Clear nose. <laughs> I knew something was nipping on me. <laughs> yeah, it's on. All right. Stupid, stupid skate. Poor man flounder. All right, and Josh says all you gotta do is pick them up by the nose. Yep, that one's a female. How do you know that? Because it doesn't have claspers down there. By down the on the bottom, bottom right here? Yeah. Right. If it was a male, it would have claspers. All right, off she goes. Am I skunked? You're not skunked. <laughs> there we go again. Josh is on, guys. Josh is on. We're gonna reel up our rigs here so we can get out of his way. I am good. <laughs> All right, man. That's 10 minutes in, guys. Come on, baby. Extend the handle a little bit if you want. Trying to get out of the way so we can uh, watch Josh fight his fish here. Great job, buddy. Let me know when you get close. Trying to make sure he doesn't get up in the anchor. That's crazy how quick that was. <laughs> was that just a straight crab? Yeah, that was the crab. We need some room here to... All right, man. Josh is fighting this one this pretty fish. good. What's that, bud? All right. Any sight of it yet at all? Uh, it's getting close because there's my leader. All right, watch right, bud. Watch all right. Oh, that's a big Jump fish. All right. That's a big fish. Nice. All right. He's going back out. Pull the out of the way, Sure, please. Thank you. There you go. I'm going to point this down, bud. Great job, Josh. Thank you, thank you. All right, swinging all the way to the other <laughs> Going back here. the other way. Wow, this is a big one, guys. This is bigger than mine. It's coming to no the surface. There you can see, I just saw surface. Keep now the motor. Oh, actually. Okay, you already. Off, fell off. What? My grip. No. Oh, he just splashed. I wasn't looking. All right, all these lines are out over here. Cutting across to the left hand uh, side. The bunker line's still out, but. 
right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here on the platform. You're gonna be all right there, boy? Yeah. Here he comes. Uh, he's cutting out underneath the boat. Underneath the boat. Watch that. No, 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 no. Oh, he's on that, lane, that, on that anchor line. All right, Shit. here, hold on, Bruce. Okay. You want me to uh, pull it up? You gotta pull it up? Yeah, pull it up. All right. And I just loosened the drag on him. All right. It's totally under the boat. Got a cluster going on right now. We got him uh, wrapped up uh, on the anchor here, so Bruce is pulling it up, trying to get it unwrapped. You're he's in. free. He's free. Going back to the other side. Yep. Good. Good. <laughs> got a flash of him yet. Oh, geez! Look at that frayed line. <laughs> oh no! I've seen him. All right. Let him get tired, Josh. I want to see how big he is, man. <laughs> yeah. This one's, I got a feeling it's way bigger than the one I caught. The last one I caught, I was 25 pounds. All right, let's get and that. He's been fighting this is that your good. leader or a fray? That's my leader, but there's a fray above it. You see the lines frayed above it? Yeah, yeah. there he is. Man, keep fighting, Josh. Keep fighting, buddy. Yes, oh, look yes. Look at that. Way bigger than the one I caught. Yeah. I'm talking 50 pounds here. No, yeah, I don't know about that. A, hey, do me a favor. Yeah. Let's try to put this rod towards the front of the boat so we don't have to come up or lay them on the floor somewhat. Something's cutting across here. I'm going to get going back and forth. Yep, yep. All right. Let's go around. Right yeah, yeah. All right, right in front of us, guys. You can see the mark. Come on, buddy. I think he might have tail wrapped the boat because he swung around. He's good. He's wow. So hey. What a fish, guys. Nice from. Man, what was that? Man, he is going all over. Is that that yellow back, thing? Back. Yeah, it's on the crab. It's on the, the the crab. Nope, come back to the left. Left and right, guys. Come on, baby, come on. He ain't ready yet. I almost had leader on the reel. Look at that thing, holy crap. We'll see him in a second. Ooh, yes, there it is. The biggest fish on. caught on 302 fishing. Josh, first drum on. You got the leader Ever. in yet? Ah, uh, he keeps taking it back. Uh, uh, yeah, you look all right there in the leader, Josh. Oh, it's right in front of us right here. All right, let's see what we got. All right, hold my back here. Uh, Where's he at, bud? He's coming right at the front of the boat here. There he is, right there. Let me know when you want me to net him, bud. You can get it around his head. Gosh darn, right there, guys. Look at this. Head in, head in, head in. You gotta bring the head around. Josh is trying to fight the head in. He's in, he's in, he's in, he's in. We got him. Oh my goodness gracious, guys, look at that. Holy shit. All right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> look at this thing. Woo. There it is, guys. Wow. Holy cow. Measure it real quick, lengthwise, guys. What did I just say? I just broke the tip part. Uh, that's mine, that's the rod. Damn it. Sorry, boy. <laughs> what it is. Are you going to turn him loose, Josh? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to turn him loose. Throwing a head out of um, Well, uh, let's get, grab the, the board. It'll, I mean, the, he's longer than the board, but. Yeah, get your tape measure. You got a tape? I thought I had it on me, but it's not. He's longer than the board. I mean. I could have swore I had it on me, but. All right, slide it down. Plus, 30 plus. Keep, keep going, inches. keep going. There. there, yeah, so we're 40 inches. 40 inches. All right, uh, does somebody grab the uh, pliers? Right there. Uh, go ahead and pull that. All right. Good deal, yeah. Josh is on, man. Awesome, man. Look at this absolute behemoth, guys. And then uh, I'm gonna ask you to take a picture with my phone. Sure. Before we turn them loose. Getting Bruce to pop it out. The bar uh, barbels are for what? Yeah, it's just for detecting food. They're like, they got taste sensors in there. Let me get him turned up on his side here. 
awesome job, Josh. Good dude. Woo. Which way are you gonna go? Uh, that way. Here you go. All right. Down in the drink she goes. Get some, Josh. Woo! <laughs> All right. Look at that big baby. Hold on, let me get over the shoulder while I go on a release here. Hold on. Just hold on till he's ready and. This morning was very, very dicey. I mean, the butt cheeks were really clinching here. Uh, we went out to uh, try to get some drum out there and the wave action was just absolutely horrendous out there. Uh, we got there just, again, a little bit after the sun started rising and it got real, real choppy out there. So once we had decided, hey, look, you know, I think we need to get back in for safety. Uh, Josh got us back into a protected area. We dropped some lines down, couldn't get anything out there. Uh, we got some waterfowl we were able to see, and of course we got to see those dolphin on the end of the uh, jetty over there trying to chase after them bunker. But uh, once that sun started coming up and things started calming down, Josh said, hey, let's pull the trigger. Let's get back out there again. And good thing he did because he finally got that big old drum on the end of the line, man. Well over 40 inches, over 40 pounds, I think. Close pounds. to 50 pounds, guys. And uh, poor uh, Bruce. And myself, while well, we blanked, I've got a couple skates, but they don't really don't count. But I'm hoping you guys enjoyed yourself just like I did, despite the fact that uh, somebody else caught the fish. And I destroyed a rod, so I'm going to be hearing about that all day long, all week long, all year long. And uh, I'm just going to somehow try to replace that because uh, it wasn't just this part of the tip break. I just took the whole thing out, guys. It was gone, destroyed. But I'm hoping you guys like that episode. Give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell that we inform the vault of our future episodes. Follow us on Instagram at 302fishing. We're going to get out of here. It's getting windy. We're tired. And uh, hopefully you guys are having a great day. And uh, this guy's a smart ass. <laughs> share, share this episode with your friends. Hey. Biggest fish ever on 302 Fishing. There you go, man. Get on down. Have a great weekend, guys. <laughs>